Okay, so today I wanted to do a video that was actually recommended <clears throat> by you guys in the comments to um, compare the EcoWorthy battery monitor, which uses a hull sensor, so it's a little easier to set up, to a battery monitor that uses a shunt, which are supposed to be more accurate. Um, the shunt connects in line with the negative battery cable, whereas the hull sensor on the EcoWorthy, it just goes around the positive cable on the battery. So it's a little easier to set up, but theoretically they are, you know, less accurate than the, uh, than the actual shunt meters. So I've got both of these connected to the same 100 amp lithium iron phosphate power queen battery. I'm, I'm running it on my, with my, uh, MPP solar all in one inverter. Sorry, I almost, it's almost slipped off. <laughs> this is obviously a temporary setup that just for the purposes of, of testing these and just, um, measuring the accuracy of, of both of these to see if they're reading basically the same information. So you, you can actually see that, uh, they're pretty close. Um, just kind of sitting idle. I do have a desk lamp connected. Uh, I have my heat gun connected. Obviously that's not on right now, but I'm gonna turn that on in just a second so we can see what these start to read when there's a, a you know a better load on there or a higher load on there. So the inverter itself and the desk lamp are pulling about just under 20 watts right now at uh, one and a half amps. 13.3 volts on the battery. Um, 90, both meters are showing 91 amp hours at 92%. Both meters are showing 61 hours of runtime. The EcoWorthy is obviously showing just a, uh, about 15 minutes difference, uh, runtime, more runtime than the, the, um, Renogy is. So overall, Right now, they're both reading about the same, a little slight, very slight differences, but I wouldn't say anything that would be a deal breaker. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat gun on. So it's going to get a little bit noisy here for just a second, so bear with me. And we'll see the heat, heat gun will generate about 400, 420 watts. <clears throat> and so you'll be able to see the, uh, the run times adjust and if they're both reading about the same uh, amperage and wattage usage. So, okay, so so far, pretty close, very close. Okay, got the heat gun on. Okay, so you, the Eco Worthy is showing about 415, 416 watts at 32 amps. Okay, about 420-ish watts. The Renogy showing 31 amps, a little over 31 amps at just over 400 watts. So some minor differences there. The runtime, I think the Renogy is still adjusting the runtime. So we should probably give that a second. But the EcoWorthy is showing about two hours, 50 minutes of runtime. And that, that actually seemed to calculate pretty fast. And just for the record, the EcoWorthy battery monitor is the cheaper of the two cost-wise, about $20 cheaper than the Renogy. So that's, it, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so the Renogy's showing about three hours of runtime. I think it's still adjusting though. They're getting closer. The wattage is an interesting difference though. It's showing about 10, 10 to 13 watts difference and about one amp difference in draw. So that's interesting. It's within 0.1 volts of one another. So that's, that's pretty close. It's close enough for me. Volts showing about 90 amp hours, 91%. So you can see that the runtime is getting closer. 200, or two hours, 53 minutes on the Renogy, two hours, 47 minutes on the Eco Worthy. Still adjusting. 
I would say these are pretty close. These are really, really close in accuracy. I'm assuming that the Renogy is the more accurate of the two, just because, it, like I said, it uses the shunt, um, which is theoretically more accurate than a hall sensor. But overall, really close. Surprisingly close, actually. Okay, so the runtime's probably about settled in, and it's within, you know, seven minutes. Two hours, 52 minutes on the Renogy at 406 watts, and you've got two hours, 46 minutes at 420 watts. So there is definitely a difference in the wattage reading. About one amp difference between the two, but overall not bad. Pretty, pretty close. Actually closer than I would have suspected, to be honest. So anyway, there it is. Um, so you've got the Renogy with the shunt, and you've got the Eco-Worthy with the Hall sensor. And I will post the wiring diagrams for each of these in the video right now. Okay, so those were the, the wiring diagrams for each. I've got my heat gun off now. And uh, final thoughts, um, you know, these a lot, they were a lot closer than I was expecting, um, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, you know, some slight differences in the wattage readings, um, uh, some slight difference in the runtime readings, but honestly, so close that to me, it really wouldn't make that big of a difference. Um, so anyway, if you guys have <clears throat> any questions at all, um, any comments, just put, you know, any questions or um, anything else you'd want to see along the lines of this, just let me know. Just leave them in the comments and I'll try to um, try to get to them if I can. So, yeah. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. Take care.